the front side. Okay, so that was the last of the four. So everything still remains in groups of four. Okay, it's very hard to miss these uh, stitches unless you miscount right up to the very beginning. So you can see that the next one appears in behind, so we want to maintain that. So grabbing it and now just popping it in through the front and back out through the back. Okay, so we're grabbing the, the back post going through. And we want to do that again. So just go across this line, so matching exactly what you have. So if it's on the front, maintain the front. If it's on the back, maintain the back. And at the very end, we'll meet back up. So I'm going to switch. Got one more in the back here, and then we're going to switch back to the front side. It's so obvious that it's that you can tell where everything is. So you can see that now. See how these two lines are like this. The next one is right in front of you. So it's obviously on the front side. So continue that. We'll pick back up at the end of the line and then we'll turn it and carry on. So this is the second of the three lines. So this is the end of the second pass. And so basically you got one more post that's in behind. And again, we're coming to the side chaining because that's the last one left. And again, we're just going to half double crochet. So grabbing the material, going right into the chain. Do not go into the gap pulling it through and then pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. And you can see the half double crochet equals it nicely even though you are double crocheting. So now you can really start seeing it but we're not done. This is only the second of the three. Okay, so let's turn our material going up. So now we want to maintain this exact stitching again for the last time before we uh, make everything opposite in order to create the weave. So let's chain up two, one, and two and then going back across this pattern this is the next one is right in front so you want to come in from the front side and then just continue to go with matching exactly what's already in your line uh, as stitch by stitch and work your way across to the end and we'll meet back up at the end and um, we'll flip it and then we'll reverse everything on starting to really create the effect of the weave so the next one's in behind so we're going to continue that and just match exactly what you have so now coming to the end, this is the pass of the line of three, and we've just got one more back one to do. Let's do that. And we have our side chain yet to do, so it's a half double crochet. So going into the chain itself on the side, pulling it through, pulling it through all three. So now it's time to opposite everything that we have just done, and the opposite then is what's going to create the next batch of basket weaves. So let's turn our material, and now what we're going to do is opposite everything to what we have just done. So let's chain up two, one and two, and we're just going to go in and look at it. Okay, so these posts are in the front. Instead of matching it from the front, I want you to grab the material and come in from behind the post. Okay, so these are a little bit awkward. And the reason why they're awkward, do you see that these lines are here are really close to each other? Well, that's what you're doing in behind, is that you have to grab in between these lines. And it's uh, in the very beginning of it, when getting used to it, it's a little bit of a challenge. So grabbing it and going into the post, okay? So grabbing it from the back side because we want opposite, and grabbing it and pulling through two and two. Okay, so we just pulled that one back and now the line that we have been creating under here is now starting to form in the front, which is creating the opposite effect. So grabbing it from behind. So everything in the front you want to grab in behind and everything in the back you want to grab from the front. So basically you're just doing opposite. So this will be pass number one again. So just everything is in uh, lines of three for this particular pattern. Okay, so that was, we just grabbed everything from behind, so you can see that there's kind of a ridge that's forming. That's good, that's what we want. And now that these ones are on the back, so now we want to grab by the front. So going in, going into the post, flipping it back out, and now we want to pull these forward. It doesn't get any more simpler than this concept, really. Actually, I really, really, I've never done the basket weave until this tutorial. And I think I'm considering doing an entire afghan of the basket weaving. I think it's brilliant. So it's going in. So the ones that are in the front, so now we want to grab those from behind. Because we just want to opposite. So go and do this round of this row. We'll meet back up at the end and we'll continue along. And this is not line number one of the 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 transition, I guess you can say. And again, write down on a piece of paper one, two, and three. You will get used to the look of what one, two, and three passes will look like 
but in the very beginning I would suggest you write it down just to make it easier for yourself. So the next ones are in the back, so we want to pull those forward and continue along for the rest of the line. So this was number line number one of the transition uh, line. So we're just going to half double crochet ourselves into the side chain to, to, to finish that off. So you can see now the transition of going from one side of the basket weave to the other is now taking effect on both sides. So let's flip the material and this will be line number two. Okay, and let's chain up our two, one, and two. And now on this one, we're just going to match exactly what you see. So in this one, we're going to come from behind because the first one is in behind. So we just want to match everything. So bas basically, the line one of every one of the transitions, you're grabbing from the opposite side to change the pattern. And then basically, number two, you're just maintaining. And number three, you're also maintaining until you get back to number one again, where you do that transition stitch. So these ones are now in front, so let's come from the front. So in, pop. So let's uh, just maintain this line going across exactly what you see. Just repeat exactly what you see and just, just to maintain the level of stitching. Okay, the next one is in behind. So continue to the rest of the line and we'll meet back up at the end and we'll flip. So we're coming up to the end of line number two and uh, on this particular stretch. So I've got everything, remember everything is in lines one, two, and three. So we're just coming from the front because the other ones were in the front. And now the very end, we're just gonna come into the chain for a half double crochet. So that was line number two. And now let's go to line number three. So we're just gonna flip it and go to line number three. And we're just gonna match everything. So one and two, just match everything to what you already see. So grabbing it, these are in behind, these are in front. So we're just gonna come in from behind because those are already in behind. So line number three on every one of these is about matching what is already there, just like line number two. It's only line number one that we opposite everything. Okay, got one more to go. So basically you're gonna end up with three, what appears to be three actual lines. So one, two, and three. So you see that one, two, and three. Uh, so if you're getting used to looking at this project, you're just looking for those three lines. Okay, so this, these are in the front, so I want to maintain the front. So just continue along, and we'll meet back up at the end, and we're going to do a line number one, and then finalize this uh, tutorial because everything is starting to repeat itself. Okay, so we're just finishing off line number three, and again, half double crochet yourselves into the edge. So now we're going to turn it now we've got our three done and now we want to flip and now we want to begin number one again so one is about oppositing everything that's already there so let's chain up one two one and two and now these are in the back so now what we want to do is pull those forward so grabbing the material going into the post on the front side popping it okay for double crochet and so basically this line number one just like you did before in line number one is that you're oppositing everything that is in there. So these were originally in the back, so now we're pulling them forward by grabbing the front posts. Okay, now these are in the front, so now we need to come in from behind, sticking the material through, popping it back, and reversing it. So basically, you've just learned how to do the basket weave, compliments of all free crochet and Mikey's mail, very simple pattern. It's a bit of a yarn pig, as I said. In today's tutorial, we are using a size J hook. I'm using a four ply Bernat yarn uh, for this, but this kind of pattern is great for any size hook or, or yarn. Just make sure that your yarn and your hook complement each other for uh, sizing. So it's a great uh, versatile pattern. It's actually a lot of fun. Again, I'm contemplating on making an afghan with this. So on behalf of All Free Crochet and I, we welcome you to the world of crochet. And uh, if you want any further information, allfreecrochet.com. And there's more videos in both Mikey's Mail and All Free Crochet online YouTube channels. We'll talk to you soon and have a great day.